What's going on YouTube? This is BMCool247 and today I'm going to go over the Cyberstein OTK with Master of Oz um, Goat Format Yu-Gi-Oh deck. So the purpose of this deck is to stall long enough to get combo pieces um, and including Cyberstein who will then summon your Master of Oz who will attack for game. Hopefully, that's the plan. Um, let's get to it. So, three Cybersteins. You're going to need at least 5,000 life points in order to uh, have the combo go off, or then you can't even afford um, to bring out a fusion monster. Uh, if you're below 5,000, hopefully you have a Nimble Momonga, which gives you 1,000 when it's destroyed by battle. Um, but, yeah, you need at least 5,000 to run that. Spirit Reaper. Can't be destroyed by battle, which is really nice. And um, yeah, it'll help you to stall. And you can search for either of those two through Mystic Tomato. So if you already have a Cyber Sign, just search for a Spirit Reaper and then throw it into defense. Uh, Nimble Momonga. This is a great card for giving you life points and then spamming the board with more of himself when he's destroyed by battle. Giant Rat to search for those Nimble Momongas. Or to search for an Exiled Force if you need to get rid of some Chaos Monster who's causing some chaos. Uh, some other one-ofs. Cyber Jar, just a good nuke to the field. It's Penguin Soldier, who maybe um, when you flip him face up to return your opponent's monster, maybe can clear the field for your direct attack. And Sangin who can search any card that I just named, or that I just listed here. All right, on to the spells. So you're going to want to draw into these cards that I'm about to name, so then you can equip them to Master of Oz. So the first spell is Megamorph, of course. Um, and this card, in order, in order for it to work, you're going to have to have less life points than your opponent. Usually by paying 5,000 life points, your uh, your life points are less than your opponent's anyway, so this is easy to meet that requirement. Um, so you always want to play Megamorph first um, before these other equipped cards I'm about to name, because Megamorph uh, doubles the original attack, um, whereas the other cards might double on top of that later or add on top of it later. This one just doubles the original attack, so it, it might overlap. Just use this first. Because, for example, Wild's Nature released. So if we um, play this after, so this will uh, add the current defense um, to its attack. So Master of Oz is, what, 3,700 defense. So I'll add 37 to 42. 79, not bad. But um, if you use Mega More first, and then you use Wild's Nature Release, it will give him to 84 and then plus 37, rather than plus 37 and then barely giving like a few hundred after that, if that makes sense. Um, you can attack twice with this equip spell, but you lose 500 attacks, so use that after uh, Mega Morph, or after everything. United We Stand, use it after Mega Morph again. You always have at least cyber sign out for that that's why i have this in here so it's at least going to be 1600 attack and then big bang shot for that piercing piercing damage uh plus 400 attack as well so in case you have a they have a face down defense and you have some of these you can at least poke them really hard uh, in defense even if it is a cyber jar that they had face down defense you might win with just that poke all right and then we have some of our stall cards, first being Messenger of Peace. So this is amazing because you only have to pay 100 per your standby phase. So if after like 10 turns or something, you'll probably have all your combo pieces, you can stop paying for this and it'll be destroyed. So that can help stall. Um, level limit area B. This guy, you can only run two of it. Uh, you don't have to pay anything for it, but it can also help stall. And then, of course, our Magic Reflector. 
So this is good for putting it obviously on these cards to be to prevent it from being destroyed. And then it's good to combo off with the next card, Giant True Nade, because this card doesn't care how many counters are on the card, it doesn't destroy the Speller Trap. It returns it uh, to the hand instead. So if your opponent has a uh, Giant True Nade while you have one of these with Magic Reflectors on, then you're kind of screwed. Uh, but if you use your own giant true nade to go in for your own poke, then you can return not only your own, but theirs to the hand, of course. You don't have to worry about their mirror forces or, or torrentials or anything like that. Heavy Storm, um, just to clear more back row. Hopefully, you don't have a magic reflector on your card while you use that, because then it won't. It'll just get rid of the magic reflector in that case. And then lastly, Pot of Greed and Graceful Charity. No delinquent duo, because... You want to keep your life points and you don't care as much what they have in their hand. Um, so yeah, that's the deck profile. Hope you liked it. Hope this helps. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you.